Hey guys, welcome back. So Samsung is getting popular in terms of foldable smartphone market where the Z Flip series is doing way better in comparison to expensive Z Fold series. This year, the next gen Z Flip 4 will not be getting any major design changes but it is expected that we might see some huge improvements in terms of hardware and build quality. Now before we jump into the video, I wanna say that if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to get more daily updates and give a like if you enjoy watching this video. So last year, Samsung announced foldable devices which made a milestone by combined sales of previous and this year. Samsung sold over 10 million units of the Z Flip 3 along with the Z Fold 3 where Z Flip 3 was sold more than 50% of the entire sales. Now this is a huge number for Samsung where a report says that the sales are 5 times higher than the second gen foldable devices. Also this image shows the regional demand and you might be surprised to hear that US hold at least 38% of the growth in 2021 for the foldable phones compared to 9% in 2020. So users are expecting the next Z Flip device to be even more advanced and cheaper this time. However, you won't notice any big differences in terms of design but Samsung is focusing on the hardware and performance part where according to recent news, the Galaxy Z Flip 4 will be powered by the upcoming high-end Qualcomm chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus which is coming within 2 months from now and will bring some major improvements over the previous CPU. We all know that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 available on the S22 series and many other flagship devices isn't doing well when it comes to heavy CPU tasks and gaming as well. It has some major heating issues which is a big problem right now for the flagship devices. And this is why many companies throttle some of the applications and games but with this new chipset Qualcomm will use TSMC's 4 nanometer fabrication over the Samsung's one which is pretty stable in CPU performance and has better heat management where the biggest example of this is the Dimensity 9000 based on TSMC's 4 nanometer fabrication. So the next gen Samsung Z Flip 4 will solve all the issues regarding thermals and will offer stable and consistent performance. Now moving on to the display the Z Flip 4 will have same inner display panel as we have on the Z Flip 3, same 6.7 inch 1080p resolution, 2x dynamic AMOLED with 120Hz second gen LTPO display. On the other side with the outer screen we may see slightly bigger display about 2 inches from 1.9 inches. Other than this there will be some upgrades in terms of cameras as well but as of now we don't have much details about that. It will be interesting to see some changes for the Z Flip 4's camera sensors and I hope this time Samsung should add a telephoto zooming camera because this is what the flip series is missing out. So there you go guys these are the latest updates regarding the Galaxy Z Flip 4 coming this year. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions related to the smartphone. If you enjoy watching this video then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as well. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace out.